Good morning. Good morning. I'd like to call the LRA meeting to order. I am Calvin Arnold, the LRA chairman. On behalf of myself, fellow commissioners, and the mayor of the city of St. Louis, the comptroller's office, the St. Louis Board of Education, Neil Richardson, Sheldon Anderson, and the employees of the LRA who welcome you. It is the job of the LRA to sell underutilized, underdeveloped properties to residents and developers that have the financial ability and the expertise to redevelop such properties and get them back to the tax roll. In a few moments, we will start our procedures listed on the agenda for today. If you have, in, if I have anyone that has signed up to speak on behalf of their offer, you will be given that chance. But please limit your presentations to three minutes. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. With that, we have been presented with the minutes uh, for August the 20th and August the 28th. And I move that we accept the minutes, Chair, uh, for August 20th and August 28th. Do I have a second? Second. It's been moved and seconded. Uh, may we call for the vote? Commissioner Arnold? Aye. Commissioner Brown? Yes. Commissioner Hines? Yes. Okay. Um, hearing no objection, motion carries. Minutes are accepted. Next, at this time, um, are there any reports? No. Of the commissioners? No. no. Any reports? No reports? Okay. So at this time, those who have registered to speak, if you could approach podium there and um, present your um, your parcel in the order um, that we have. If you could go ahead, D, who's the first person? First piece we have will be for number five. And that's Brittany Jacks. Hello, I'm Brittany Jackson. My plan is, well, my project was rejected, but I don't feel it should be rejected because since I put in the offer, the whole block has actually went on the LRA list. And my plans for this project is going to be sweat equity. And I, it's like my dream, my goal. Like, I do this every day. So I don't understand how they're saying I didn't provide the finances for a two-family when I'm converting it into a one-family home. And it's to... And I showed 25% of that. Well, I showed more than 25% of what I've gave to the offer as my finances plus with my employment finances and everything else I do have the ability to do sweat equity and be able to provide the funds for permits and things that I need to get this home up and running and the lot that I wanted next to it What is your previous experience? Right now, I am. I work for Department of Correction as construction maintenance. I'm working. Uh, they have put me through school. I started as an officer. They put me through school because this is my passion. They send. Me Sorry, I was talking about your previous experience rehabbing properties. Like uh, rehabbing this. properties. Well, I, I do all properties for. I do everything for Department of Corrections. I build uh, nurseries. I build it so much. I build classrooms. I do plumbing, HVAC. I do everything through my job since they didn't put me through school for it. I have all my certifications and everything through Lynn College. And since I've been on the team, I've actually then got promoted multiple times. And I, this will be my first baby. It's like, this is my dream for real. Okay. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Have signed up for item number 14. Oh, we have that Sarah. No, oh, oh, you can talk. <laughs> Hi. Hi. I'm Sarah. Hi, Sarah. This is Sarah. Sam. That's Sam. <laughs> we want to do a garden at the two prop 
two properties that's on Cleon. We own three properties in the vicinity. We live in Broadway and Marine. About 200 foot away. Yeah. I've um, been before this board in the 90s. <laughs> in the 90s. And organically, that entire block, besides the two buildings that exist that are rented out, yes, one of which we own, One it wants to be green space. And that would be great for the neighborhood. The neighborhood supports it. Um, other than that, I'm an avid gardener. And we have people that would like to also join in the garden. Also, we have no yard. Our yes, building, we have no yard. She does the street lawn. <laughs> Check it out. Uh, Marine and Broadway, it's insanity. Other than that, I clean up the blocks. Actually, I clean up many blocks. And I am involved in the fountain area at Chippewa. Broadway and Jefferson, where we just planted uh, natives there with the help of the Shaw Nature Reserve. And we're also taking care of the garden at the firehouse, which is 3678. All right. Thank you. All right. Thank you. See you talking in the right short. <laughs> Good morning, good morning. Good morning. I'm Craig Ellis. I'm part of the High Park neighborhood. Been a part of the High Park neighborhood since 71. Um, what I was trying to do, I still work within the community as I do now, paint, um, do alleys. That's volunteer work on my own. Cause I've been a part of the neighborhood and it's been looking kind of shabby. So I live off the block of 21st Street and Penrose from 71. So now it just seems like I can do a little bit more over there by cleaning it up and um, keeping it nice looking than having all those weeds. So we got elderly people over there and, you know, they do try to come out, take walks. But if the grass is so high around there, you never know what comes out of that grass early in the morning. So my thing is, I was just trying to eat. <clears throat> They were saying making it, a, I was making it a lot. So what I was trying to do is something around the whole neighborhood, just not that lot. But I, I usually cover from North Floors and all the way back over to 20th Street. Okay, so I'm not unclear. What do you plan to do with this lot? Well, this lot, I was basically making it just a, a parking lot. But by, by that being said, that wasn't feasible to you guys but now I've changed the plan on it if you guys I'm trying to see you guys ask me to make it a, a side lot parking lot so I don't know what you guys want to make it out of I mean want you to make it out of so what I was doing is still I'm part of a construction family building construction and that's mainly what I was doing storing like my constructions stuff on that lot Thank you. Okay. Okay. With that, we will proceed to our offers to purchase. 
Under our offers to purchase, these are parcels that are owned by LRA that consist of unoccupied ground or physical structures, single family residence, side lots, two families, four families, et cetera. The offers have submitted offers to purchase with the intention of rehabbing properties as residential or commercial projects as um, an extension of their yard space, community gardens, or green spaces to enhance and beautify the community. The first category we have under the heading of new construction. New construction programs, these are class A lots with a minimum of 4,000 square feet in total land with no more than three contiguous lots per offer. Uh, the first one we have in this category is uh, Fidel Investments, LLC, care of Brandy Hamilton, properties 4211 West Bell Place and 4209 West Bell Place. I move that we counter this offer for $4,088 with closing contingent upon approval of plans, budget, and financing. Second. Okay. It's been moved and second. Just wanted to add to that that we're going to want to amend that for a second. Uh, I'd like to uh, make the counter for $44,088 uh, with a 24-month option with closing contingent upon approval of plans, budget, and financing. And then we heard Commissioner uh, Heights uh, give us the second. It's been moved in second. Um, is there any discussion on that? It's been moved in second, hearing no discussion. Um, I'll call previous roll as a vote. Uh, hearing no objection, motion carries. Um, item B, we have as is rehab program. As is rehab program, these are class A residential buildings up to six units, no more than one building with no more than two contiguous lots or one commercial building. Uh, item number two, Property address is 5245 Ashland. Offerer is Ronnie Whitfield. I move that we accept the offer of $2,000 with closing contingent upon approval of budget and financing. Is there a second? Second. It's been moved and second. Previous role as the vote. Hearing no objections, motion carries. Item number I'm sorry, item number three, uh, Leela Malajic. Um, we have property address 5932 Drexel Avenue and 1247 Gimlin Street. Move to reject offer due to lack of uh, sufficient financial resources to support the project. Second. It's been moved and second. Previous roll as a vote. Hearing no objections, motion carries. Item number four, uh, property address 2220 Alberta Street. Um, offer is Geraldo Espinoza. Uh, move to reject uh, offer due to lack of uh, sufficient financial resources to support the project. Do I have a second? Second. It's been moved and second. Previous roll as the vote. Hearing no objections, motion carries. Uh, item number five, we have Brittany Jackson, property address, uh, multiple addresses here, 4911 St. Louis Avenue, 4909 St. Louis Avenue, and 4909 H. St. Louis Avenue moved to reject the offer due to uh, lack of su uh, sufficient financial resources to support the project. Do I have a second? Second. It's been moved and second. Previous role is a vote. Hearing no objections, motion carries. Item six, uh, Ebony Wilson. We have uh, 6013 Emma. Uh, 6033 Emma and 5624 Mimica move to accept offer of $3,000 with closing contingent upon approval 
of Budget and Financing. Is there a second? Second. It's been moved and second. Previous roll as a vote. Hearing no objections, motion carries. Our next category is under the heading of development. Development programs. These are offers for parcels owned by LRA that consist of physical structures, single family residence, side lots, two family uh, flats, four families, etc., for the rehab and or construction of any combination of the following rehab and or construction of mixed use buildings, rehab and or construction of multiple residential buildings, rehab of residential buildings with more than six units. The first property we have in this category is um, uh, offer is revitalization real estate developers. Uh, there are multiple uh, properties listed in Exhibit A. Uh, I move that we defer any action on uh, these parcels uh, until we have a review of community input uh, prior to the commission uh, making a decision on these parcels. Uh, do I have a second? Second. It's been moved and second. Previous role as a vote. Hearing no objections, motion carries. Next uh, category we have under the heading of general lot program. The general lot program provides guidelines for the sale of LRA vacant lots, class A, for any purpose other than new construction, building rehab or development. The first property we have in this category, item number eight, is property address 5038 Cates. Uh, offer is Brent J. Menard. I move to counter this offer uh, for $1,880 with closing contingent upon approval of plans, budget, and financing. Do I have a second? Second. It's been moved and second. Previous role as the vote. Hearing no objections, motion carries. Item nine, property address is 1430 Granville Place. Offer Valerie Rayford. Uh, I move to counter the offer for $893 with closing contingent upon approval of budget and financing. Do I have a second? Second. It's been moved and second. Previous role as the vote. Hearing no objections, motion carries. Item 10, we have multiple properties uh, in Exhibit A. The offer is TVCT Legacy LLC, care of Leslie uh, McRoberts. Uh, I move that we accept the offer of $3,883 with closing contingent upon approval of plans, budget, and financing. Do I have a second? Second. It's been moved and second. Previous role as a vote. Hearing no objections, motion carries. Our next item, item number 11, 5110 in right. The offer is Lila Griffin. I move to counter this offer uh, at $2,244 with closing contingent upon approval of budget and financing. Do I have a second? Second. It's been moved and second. Previous role as the vote. Hearing no objections, motion carries. Mm -hmm. um, our next item, item number 12, we have um, property address is uh, 2159 East College. We offer a Janelle Langerston. I uh, move to counter offer at $1,032 with closing contingent upon approval of plans, budget, and financing. Do I have a second? Second. It's been moved and right. second. Previous role as a vote. Hearing no objections, motion carries. Uh, item number 13, we have a uh, property address, 4206 North Florissant, offer Craig Ellis, uh, move to defer any action on this, uh, this parcel until uh, for further consideration. Do I have a second? Second. 
It's been moved and second. Previous roll as the vote. Uh, hearing no objections, motion carries. Item number 14. We have two addresses. Offer is Sam Miller and Sarah Ulick. Uh, the property address is um, the two addresses, 3619 Cleon Street and 3621 Cleon Street. Uh, move to counter uh, this offer at $6,000 going to the appointing authority with closing contingent upon approval of budget and financing. Do I have a second? Second. It's been. Um, do I have a second? Second. Okay. Um, previous role as the vote. Hearing no objections, motion carries. Item number 15, uh, Amina Ali, uh, property address, two, uh, um, two addresses here, 3726 Finney and 3724 Finney. Uh, I move to counter this offer for $3,618 with closing contingent upon approval of budget and financing. Do I have a second? Second. It's been moved and seconded. Um, hearing no objections, motion carries. Okay. Oh, I'm sorry, previous role is a vote. <laughs> hearing no objections, motion carries. Okay, next we have the side lot program. Under the side lot program, these are parcels that are owned by LRA that consist of unoccupied ground that are that's that is too small to support new construction. These non biddable lots are parcels that are less than 4,000 square feet and cannot be contiguous to another LRA parcel. These lots are made available and affordable to adjacent property owners to be used as a side lot and expand personal property. Uh, the first parcel and looks like the only parcel that we have in this category is um, 4558 Alice. Offer is Mary R. Hood and um, Sonja J. Hood, Crenshaw, and Carolyn Hood move to accept this offer. Do I have a second? Second. It's been moved and seconded. Uh, previous role as a vote. Hearing no objections, motion carries. Uh, our next category is under the heading of option renewal. Option renewals are offers requests for additional time to complete projects due to construction of delays, funding, and options that are near expiration. Offers must display proof of consistent progress to receive renewals of options and extension of time. First property we have in this category, uh, we have multiple properties uh, in Exhibit A. The offer is Lutheran Development Group, care of Christopher Sherman. Uh, I move that we accept uh, we accept a 16-month option of ten thousand uh, dollars with closing contingent upon approval of plans, budget, and financing. Do I have a second? Second. It's been moved and second. Previous role as a vote. Hearing no objection, motion carries. Uh, next category, uh, we would be Prop NS. We do not have any properties under Prop NS at this time. So our next category is under the heading of donations. Donations are parcels which consist of unoccupied ground or structures owned by constituents who desire to donate due to no longer wanting the property or they are incapable of maintaining upkeep. The donation is entered into uh, the LRA inventory and sold using the LRA process. The first property we have in this category, item number 18, uh, property address 1238 North Euclid. Um, the offer is U.S. Bank National Association as trustee 
for Credi uh, Suite First Boston Mortgage Securities Corp. Um, everything seems to be in line. Move that we accept uh, this vacant lot. Do I have a second? Second. It's been moved and seconded. Um, previous role as a vote. Hearing no objections, motion carries. Item number 19, we have seven, uh, 770 Albert Avenue. Offer is Louise B. Jones. I move that we accept this donation. Do I have a second? Second. It's been moved and second. Previous roll as a vote. Hearing no objections, motion carries. Item number 20, property address 8466 Concord Place, offer a Kyle Mo Morris. Uh, I move that we accept this donation. Uh, do I have a second? Second. It's been moved and second. Previous roll as a vote, hearing no objection, motion carries. Okay, our next category is under the heading of miscellaneous. Miscellaneous items are requested changes from the original approved board decision. These may include a change of end use, name change, etc. The request must go before the board for consideration. Okay, so the first uh, item that we have here is Earl D. Hobson. Um, property addresses uh, 52, I'm sorry, 5425 Goodfellow Boulevard and 5431 Goodfellow. Uh, Boulevard. Um, okay. Um, I move that we uh, accept um, the offer of a thousand dollars for uh, these two parcels and send that to the appointing authority. Do I have a second? Second. It's been moved and second. Uh, previous role as a vote. Hearing no objections motion carries um item 22 i'm sorry yep item number 22 uh wait a second here so do you need this <laughs> you okay okay all right uh item number two uh, yeah, 22 is 4822 Labadee. Um, we are going to uh, move to accept the offer of $507 with closing contingent upon approval of budget and financing. Do I have a second? Second. So it's been moved and second. Previous role as a vote. Hearing no objections, motion carries. Our next category is under the heading of deferral, uh, and we are looking at these offers a second or a third time. Uh, the first property that we have in this category is uh, item number 23, property address, uh, multiple addresses here, 5331 Theodosia and 5335 Theodosia. I move to counter offer for $1,112 with closing contingent upon approval of budget and financing. Do I have a second? Second. It's been moved and second. Uh, previous role as the vote. Hearing no objections, motion carries. Uh, our next item, uh, we have uh, Christina A. Fonso. Uh, we have the property addresses, seven 16 South 2nd Street and 714 South 2nd Street. Um, I move to defer any action uh, on these two parcels for further consideration of the LRA Commission. Do I have a second? Second. Um, it's been moved and second. Previous role as a vote, hearing no objections, motion carries. Uh, item 25, we have um, multiple properties that are listed in Exhibit A offered by the Israel of God's, God's Church, General Trustees as their successors, uh, move that we counter um, this offer for 
uh, dollars uh, at a 24-month option uh, with closing contingent upon approval of plans, budget, and financing. Do I have a second? Second. It's been moved and second. Previous roll as a vote. Hearing no objections, motion carries. Item number 26. Offer Tiffany S. Turner. Property addresses um, 3787 Lee Avenue and 3808 Lee Avenue. Uh, move to reject offer due to it not being in the highest and best use of the parcel. Do I have a second? Second. It's been moved and second. Previous roll as a vote. Hearing no objections, motion carries. Item 27. We have multiple parcels listed in Exhibit A. The offer is Robert E. Nelson. Move to reject offer due to it not being in the highest and best use of the parcel. Do I have a second? Second. It's been moved in second. Previous roll as the vote. Hearing no objections, motion carries. Item 28. Property address 1915 Ferry Street. Offer Tyler Davis. Move to accept offer of $500 with closing contingent upon approval of plans, budget, and financing. Do I have a second? Second. It's been moved and second. Previous roll as a vote. Hearing no objections, motion carries. Item number 29. We have multiple properties listed in Exhibit A. The offer is HQK Logistics, LLC. I move that we counter this offer for $16,000 at a 24-month option with closing contingent upon approval of plans, budget, and financing. Do I have a second? Second. It's been moved and second. Previous role as the vote. Hearing no objections, Motion carries. Item 30, we have multiple properties listed in Exhibit A. Offer, Deidre Freeman. I move that we accept offer of $3,600 with closing contingent upon approval of plans, budget, and financing. Do I have a second? Second. It's been moved and second. Previous role as the vote. Hearing no objections. Motion carries. Uh, our next property, we have uh, item number 31, property address 2103 East College, offer Janelle Langerston and Latasha Langerston. I move that we accept offer of $1,500 with closing contingent upon approval of budget and financing. Do I have a second? Second. It's been moved and second. Previous role as the vote, hearing no objections, motion carries. Item 32, property address 4975 Davidson, offer Felicia Eddington. I uh, move that we counter offer for $333 at a 12 month option with closing contingent upon approval of plans, budget, and financing. Do I have a second? Second. It's been moved and second. Previous role as a vote, hearing no objections, motion carries. Item 33, we have property address 5464 Union Avenue, offer Ebony Wilson. Move to accept offer of $1,000 with closing contingent upon approval of budget and financing. Is there a second? Second. It's been moved and second. Previous role as a vote. Hearing no objections, motion carries. Item 34, property address 5445 Robin Avenue. Offer Cedric Love. Move to accept offer of $500 with closing contingent upon approval of budget and financing. Do I have a second? Second. It's been moved and second. Previous role as a vote, hearing no objection, motion carries. Item 35, property address 3712 Penrose Street, offer a Tabernacle Community Development Corps, Carol 
Andre Alexander moved to accept offer of $500 with closing contingent upon approval of budget and financing. Do I have a second? Second. It's been moved and second. Previous role as a vote. Hearing no objections, motion carries. Item 36. We have offer Art Dem LLC, care of Daniel Kovalenko, moved to counter offer at $5,860 with closing contingent upon approval of budget and financing. Do I have a second? Second. It's been moved and second. Previous role as a vote. Hearing no objections, motion carries. Item 37, we have um, prop, multiple properties, 3817 North 23rd, 3815 North 23rd, 3901 North 23rd. Uh, offer Fuels Easy LLC, care of Ebony Stiegel, move to defer any action on these parcels uh, pending community input and support prior to the commission making a decision. Do I have a second? Second. It's been moved and second. Previous role as a vote, hearing no objection, motion carries. Item 38, property address 3740 Ohio Avenue, offer Fast Lane Enterprise LLC, care of Brandon Jackson, moved to accept offer of $2,000 with closing contingent upon approval of budget and financing and uh, proof of financial support. Um, may I have a second? Second. It's been moved and second. Previous role as a vote, hearing no objections, motion carries. Item 39, offer Ernestine Young. Property address 1414 Penrose Street and 1416 Penrose Street. Uh, moved to reject offer due to lack of proof of uh, financial capacity to support the project. Uh, do I have a second? Second. It's been moved and second. Previous role as a vote. Hearing no objections, motion carries. Item 40, we have multiple properties listed in Exhibit A. Offer Vibrant Blue Realty LLC, care of Vernon Gentry, moved to accept offer of four thousand dollars with closing contingent upon approval of budget and financing. Do I have a second? Second. It's been moved and second. Previous role as a vote. Hearing no objections, motion carries. Item forty-one. We have. Multiple properties listed in Exhibit A. Offer Melissa Grimes moved to counter offer for $1,897 with closing contingent upon approval of budget and financing. Do I have a second? Second. It's been moved and second. Previous role as the vote. Hearing no objections, motion carries. Item number 42. Property address 6052 Horton Place. Offer Daniel Maba. Move to accept offer of $2,500 with closing contingent upon approval of budget and financing. Do I have a second? Second. It's been moved and second. Previous role as the vote. Hearing no objections. Motion carries. Item 43. Same address 6042. 6052 Horton Place and move to uh, reject the offer in favor of another offer. Do I have a second? Second. It's been moved and second. Previous role as a vote. Hearing no objections, motion carries. Item 44, property address 8984 Edna. Offer Jose Armando Martinez and Ma Alicia Gonzalez. Uh, move to accept offer of $500 with closing contingent upon approval of budget and financing. Do I have a second? Second. It's been moved and second. Previous role as a vote. Hearing no objections, motion carries. Item 45. 
We have multiple properties listed in Exhibit A. Offer Frontier Pedro move to reject offer due to lack of proof of financial capacity to support the project. Do I have a second? Second. It's been moved and second. Previous role as the vote. Hearing no objection, motion carries. Item number 46, same offer, Frontier Pedro LLC, move to reject the multiple offers due to lack of financial capacity to support the project. Um, do I have a second? Second. It's been moved and second. Previous role as a vote, hearing no objections, motion carries. Item 47, we have multiple properties listed in Exhibit A. Offer We Dream Inc. Care of Veronica Smith. Move to reject the offer uh, due to lack of uh, proof of financial support to support the project. Do I have a second? Second. It's been moved and second. Previous role as the vote. Uh, hearing no objection, motion carries. Uh, item 48, um, offer is SGR Investments, LLC, care of Mark Davis, offer 5823 Cabney and 5817 Cabney. Move to counter the offer at $16,348 with closing contingent upon approval of budget and financing. Do I have a second? Second. It's been moved and second. Previous role as a vote, hearing no objections, motion carries. Item 49, property address 5050 Emerson Avenue, offer Demetrius Jones. Move to accept offer of $1,000 with closing contingent upon approval of budget and financing. Is there a second? Second. It's been moved and second. Previous role as the vote, Hearing no objections, motion carries. Item 50, property address 5050 Emerson, move to accept, I'm sorry, I'm um, looking at this. Okay, move to reject offer uh, in favor of another offer that was presented earlier. Um, <clears throat> do I have a second? Second. It's been moved and second. Previous role as a vote. Hearing no objections, motion carries. Item 51, uh, property address 5711 Maple Avenue. Uh, offer Ideal Enterprise Investment LLC, care of Amber Simmons. Move to accept offer of $5,000 as a 12-month option with closing contingent upon approval of plans, budget, and financing. Do I have a second? Second. It's been moved and second. Previous role as a vote. Hearing no objections, motion carries. Uh, item 52, 5139 Wells Avenue. Um, move to um, counter uh, this offer for $2,000 going to the appointing authority. Um, so... Yes, I'd like to counter that offer. I make the motion to counter the offer for two thousand um, dollars, and going to the appointing uh, authority for as as well as uh, presenting plans, budget, and financing. Do I have a second? Second. It's been moved and second. Previous role as the vote. Hearing no objections. Motion carries. All right. Um, that concludes our parcels for consideration, Chair. Okay. So the next we have on our agenda are resolutions. And the first resolution we have from Sean, Sean Thomas, uh, Proposition NS Manager. Or would you like to present it? Yes. Yeah, so thank you, okay. uh, Commissioner Brown. So uh, we will call to present resolution number 24. LRA-246, our Prop S Program Manager, Sean Thomas. Uh, as you are aware, Commissioners, the Prop S Program funds the stabilization efforts for 
properties across the city of St. Louis. Uh, we have recently reconvened the Prop and S Stabilization Advisory Committee. And through that committee, uh, Sean will present uh, the resolution, which again, moves for properties that are being nominated for stabilization. Sean. Thank you. Good morning. You have before you a resolution that you haven't seen in a while. Our committee, as you have just heard, has been in, on hiatus. They are back to full strength and met last month, or just earlier this month, uh, to recommend number of buildings for the Prop NS stabilization. I brought your attention to page two, where the committee met on, let's see, what's the date here? Earlier this month on September 10th and recommended the following seven buildings for stabilization with funds from Prop NS, 5065 Enright, 4213 North Florissant, 3203 Sullivan Avenue, 2521 North Spring, 2600 North Spring, 5115 Labadee, and 5219 Cope Brilliant Avenue. They also recommended against use of Prop NS funds for the following four properties due to conditions that were beyond what our program could do. 4305 Rosalie, 1819 North Newstead, and 4219 St. Louis Avenue, and 4323 Garfield. And we, the committee recommends that you authorize this resolution. Thank Any you. questions? Okay. Thank you very Thank much. You. Okay. Um, with that information, uh, I'd like to move that we accept uh, resolution number 24 LRA-246. Do I have a second? Second. It's been moved and second. Do we call for the vote? Yes. Yes. Commissioner Hikes, how are you? Oh, like? yes. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> All right. Thank you. So motion carries. Okay. Uh, next, I, I think that's the only resolution we have. That is the only resolution. Okay. It's only so okay. Report. Yeah, so uh, at this time, there is no director's report, commissioners. Uh, we will present a director's report at the October meeting which will also serve as our third quarter uh, report out for LRA. Okay. Our next commission meeting will be held October 30th, 2024. Meeting now is adjourned. I'll make a motion. Make a motion. <laughs> okay. Do we have a second? We have a second. Thank you. Hearing no objection, the motion carries. All right. Thank you. All right. Meeting adjourned. Thank you, everyone. Thank you.